and we're live. Good evening, everyone. Good morning, whatever time it is on your end. But I think we're live, and I think it actually succeeded this time to get up and running on uh, with an actual scheduled event. And let me just check some things on YouTube just to make sure that we are actually live and working. Looks like we have something on the stream. Great. I'll switch to analytics and I'll just check. We see the chat. A uh, million things I need to get up and running here. Just getting used to the whole uh, YouTube streaming part. And can I get a confirmation in chat if we're live? I would very much appreciate if we are live because then we can start the show for today. I got a thumbs up. Yes, lives. Awesome. Good. So. Now it's time to start a new series, and why do we not have any music in the game? It would be nice if we could actually get some music. So, uh, yes, to anyone who joined us on the previous session, that was very much a test session. I spent the first 20 minutes uh, screaming and yelling at my uh, OBS settings and my microphone, and it was all scratchy all the way through, and YouTube decided not to record it. So I couldn't even just start it. And, and you know, when you start a new series on YouTube, the very most important part is the very first episode. So let's get a good start for this episode by me explaining the rules of the game. This is C block. I will, <clears throat> I will go into more detail about what C block is and how it works. So uh, if you are, oh, hold on. Maybe I am actually not, just not switching on my headset. Yeah. Oh, right, I do have sound. Great, it's just my headset that was turned off. All right, let's get started. This is a C-Block series. If you look in the top left-hand corner, you will see a countdown. This is the amount of time I have for this uh, to complete it. So the reason why I'm doing this is kind of, well, I'm trying to switch from streaming from YouTube to, you know, or to Twitch to YouTube. And I also want to draw a bit of attention to of course, the uh, patrons that are so kind to sponsor me and my channel. Basically, uh, the idea is that if let's just use the command here. Um, which one is it? Countdown, I think. Countdown command, and then see if Nightbot reacts. It basically means that every patron that sponsors for a Robber Baron rank adds two hours. Every uh, Captain of Industry adds one hour and any YouTube sponsorship adds one hour. So that basically is a challenge for me. Can I complete this in the time I have available? And likewise, also a matter of, hey, if you want this uh, series to run further, that's how long it'll, it'll run. So that should be enough about that part. Um, the idea is I'll be streaming this on YouTube at least once a week, maybe more, and uploading afterwards to YouTube so everyone can see it. Great. So that was all the introduction. Let's dive in. If you have any questions, just drop it in the chat and then we'll uh, we'll get going. I need to try to keep an eye on the counter as well. Um, yeah, I think I need to do something different here. Restore chat. There we go. And just figure out how, what kind of overview I want to see on, uh, on YouTube. It's a bit... Viewer statistics, fine. Viewer statistics seems fine and live chat as well. Great, let's get started on this mod pack. So if you are not familiar with this mod pack, then this mod pack is basically, as you can see here, I am starting in the middle of nothing. And all of this is water and I have to build everything with just the tiny things I have inside my inventory and then we'll get into it. So just to, oh no, did you say mic stop? Ah, uh, come on. No, it, it, it looks like it's working on my, my end at least. Streaming is okay. I have, where do we have? Drop frame zero. I can see the mic. And not hear me. All right, while I'm waiting for a response, I'll just take a sip. So cheers, everyone. You can hear me, great. So if nothing else, I'll be streaming for you and you alone. Let's have a look and we have, yes, we do have some viewers in chat, so that's nice. All right, let's see. So what is interesting about this mod is that I need angels mods and buffs mods in order to generate positive feedback cycles. And 
<laughs> Just want to sew and never stop. Okay, great, perfect, thank you. Then I can continue. And this is a bit different. The reason why I'm calling this a better C block is because my previous C block, it was a good C block, but it um, this one will be better because on top of all the other things, I am self-imposing some rules. And those rules are, I will not build any requester chests or any uh, buffer chests. So that means I can use robots, but robots can only deliver to me personally and not to numerous. If you are thinking I should be using the trick to get additional um, additional blueprints, then I can tell, let you know that that has unfortunately been fixed. See, don't get anything extra. So now it's just the good old fashioned way of making C block. I don't, it seems like I have a lot because I have 1000, but this is all I have. So that's uh, gonna be more challenging. I'm gonna need to build like a starting square where we can start building the first materials on. I'm also gonna build up to this location. That actually means there's no grass fish anymore. That's a bit of a shame. That was, they were so cute. This thing is a monstrosity. Ooh, this is a desert garden. Great, I love the desert garden because that is a needle machine for whatever reason. That one, what is this? This is a desert garden as well. I'm just picking things up. Great, they will come in handy at a later point, but not right now. So the idea is with this series that, oh, not just this, oh, whoa, whoa. I'm, am I, oh, okay, so, okay, I didn't lose anything, but, okay, that was really strange. So I guess this is, uh, I'm barely having enough here. Come on, can I make it? Yes, okay, I'm gonna save the last 22 for later on. Now I have a bit of space for me to work. Now let's have a look at the sequence of events or how I need to build it. The first thing I need to build is actually some power. And power comes in the form of these wind turbines. They're very strange actually. Um, <laughs> you got muted, <laughs> ah, all right, Kyoto. This um, and the question from a name I cannot even try to pronounce. Uh, at which point this series called complete at the SpaceX. Yes, correct, SpaceX. And yes, I'll save it to YouTube. So I will put this on YouTube and you will be able to enjoy it on your own time, but you will not be able to ask questions or laugh at me in real time. But I guess we can all prioritize things as we see fit. Does it work? Does it work? Uh, there's something here that I don't like. I don't like the fact that, there we go. So I want it like consistent. Okay, that's fine. So these are, well, they're not really producing a lot. The idea of these is that they produce 10 kilowatts, 10 kilowatt each. Of course, there's no demand, but they fluctuate between five and 15. That means it, uh, it it's, yeah. Oh. I could actually just put it one higher up. Okay, that's sad. Good, so now at least we have some something here. Now I need to figure out the things I can build. There's something really brilliant about this C block because as soon as I get the first cross step right, then I automatically open up some new research. This means that I cannot accidentally do something wrong. For example, I can make a crystallizer. A kind gesture. Ooh, a kind gesture. That is awesome. Thank you very much. I guess that was a contribution on Patreon. Yes. And I don't even wonder Twitter? I don't know. Thank you very much for upgrading your pledge. I will immediately jump in and in this one, see if I can do this correctly. Let's keep an eye on how this is going. This is going to be like, I'm going to pause it and then I'm going to add from 9, 90, 30. And does that make sense? No, that didn't make sense. I can do that one. Yes, so we added one more hour. Thank you very much. Awesome. Good. 
Now let's uh, let's see what we can build. Let's start explaining the idea. This one is going to be our key ingredient. Let's go back to the chat overview. <clears throat> and seems like you can override the biome with landfill. Yeah, I can, but it didn't use use anything. Okay, then this crystallizer takes mineralized water in and generates a tiny bit of uh, what's it sapphirite and stereotite so this means i need mineralized water in order to produce this so this is per perfectly fine mineralized water we get that from we can do one liquefier and we can also do electrolysis because electrolysis will be the stuff of legend the part we need the most of and i'm actually going to build yeah, i'm going to build the electrolysis here Let's start on the electrolysis. I guess something like this. The electrolysis can take pure water or water coming, fresh water coming in, and then generate oxygen, hydrogen that I can't use for anything, but I can flare it, and then some slag. And that is the exact purpose of this. This is my only real resource, is the slag coming in from the electrolysis. Hence I need to make sure that I get this. And then I'm going to get a one offshore pump that offshore pump and will be I'm gonna pick let's see guess I guess it would be on the back side it would be better there oops yeah do do got that do do okay let's talk about the mod pack the mod pack is let's say a standard C block pack plus I've added a few convenience uh, ingredients. See now we have production. Great. <clears throat> They're not moving very fast. Uh, however, the the mod pack dirt, dirt. The mod pack we are using is actually consists of basically the default options. Plus, I've added a few of my conveniences like longer reach. Longer reach is one. And. Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, what was I talking about? Even distribution, my absolute favorite mod. Nanobot, because yes, it's going to be frustrating to build without nanobots. And long reach, because I like long reach and, and squeak through, because yeah. Life is painful enough as it is. A kind gesture. Ooh, that is another kind gesture. Let's hurry up and get... Did I actually display on screen? Yes, it did. It displayed on top of everything. Though. That was unfortunate. We're going to move that down. And... Oops. Here. Thank you very much, Matthew, for the contribution. And welcome to the order of the path as captain of industry be sure to uh, when you get the in the mail from patreon accept the link uh, so that you link your discord with your um, your with your patreon page because then you get upgraded or get uh, promoted immediately in uh, in discord and then i don't have to do all the administration of managing not because of the management in and of itself is too much, but the fact that I both have to add and remove actually adds a bit. And where should we put it? I guess we'll take these out just because it, just because that makes perfect sense. There we go. Nope. Okay, now I'm wasting materials. There we go. So now it's actually things are starting. I am producing here. I can now pick up. This is the slag I have. This is how I produce. And I will just go to my little snaz here. I will see, pause it, and go to 10, 45, and stop and go. That should again work. There we go. Let's have a look in our. Yeah, it looks fine. Great. It looks. And I need to go back and see. Ooh, the. It, Hey, thank you, Lucio 
Lucio Ghosty. Okay, that's a more, more reasonable name. I, I want to be careful about mentioning people's uh, real names because maybe not everyone wants their real name shouted out. So we'll just go by first name for for the patrons. See, I'm going to put in a lot more of these because we're going to need them. Although they do take up an obscene amount of space. I have noticed that this C block is actually improved quite dramatically since version 0.15 and it's very enjoyable it's some really clever ways that it has been improved and i think it's primarily because that now there are so many people playing it that it makes sense to do some refinement of it as well so what we have now is actually our starting production we can see here the slag is accruing and now i need to work on the next part next part of the process will be something along the lines of let's see this one actually i guess we can we can do this one for now then we can save some materials you're going to do that this requires slag and we don't have that yet so we need some crushers that one goes in here basically saying the mineralized water the mineralized water needs that one that one crush and crush of course need fuel and this is where I, oh yeah this is the one part i have to remember the, for some reason you can forage for cellulose fiber or you can forage for well just do it so i have to be always handcrafting this is just a mod for me and so this is something if you see me not handcrafting be sure to remind me because i should be handcrafting all the time you go in there and oh great i need to okay my mouse is not working it's all full of goo and so if i hold control and start and left mouse button drag drag then it'll split all of it into the all of the machines here or i can just press control shift c and then it automatically takes whatever is in my inventory and starts shooting it into whatever's around. That is an amazing functionality. So shift C is the best function. So now this one needs some fuel or some, I'll put you over here. I'll put that one there. Go, go. Yes. So this is now working except these two. And then if I shift C, it'll pop right in there. This is amazing, right? And it's working. This is being produced. And I need to... Actually, I need to grab some of this. And produce a few more of, it, of them. So this one comes out as... Let's just put it here. Oh, right. That doesn't work. Now I need to remove all of this while my handcrafting. That's there. And then we can start handcrafting again afterwards. Boom, boom. And that one, this one is going to take here. One and one more. One more. Then I, I'm sort of preparing it for when I get uh, one, one. Okay, one thing I just need to do, I just need one second. Well, maybe not more than one second. Oh, all right. I just need to go tell the kids that they should remember. We had an agreement that they would be allowed to uh, read a bit in bed, but then I could would go and tell them to now it's time to, uh, to sleep. And they kind of forgot that they're part of the promise, as always, you know, kids. There. So now I'm just shoving crushed stone into this one and that one is producing. So I pick up, pick up, and then I need to take this one in here and that one in there. And I should be having, no, I don't. I'll take that one and put it in here. Good. So give me just one second. I'll uh, just tell the kids to uh, go to bed and sleep. So one second.
and a back. Uh, to space base you can put turbines around and between structures, especially in places you never go to. Ah, uh, that seems awkward. <laughs> 11 51 a.m. Where in the world are you located at 11 51 a.m.? So let's um, see. In the beginning, there'll be a lot of. Oh, I lost my sound. What did I do? What did I do? I do, did something. There we go. I have sound back. Great. So in the beginning, there'll be a lot of hand carrying. So I can shove things in, pick things up from these various ones, shove it in again shove it in again and it all looks happy okay so that's good and you can see in the meantime we got the first research because we did create one stereotype cross stereotype and the next part is then i need to do one basic circuit board to proceed with my tech and that enables me to get inserters what did i get now that i can use hydro plants all right water purification Algenic acid, ooh, that's some crazy things, and basic circuit boards. So let's start looking at that, not f because of anything else, but because... Oh, Anchorage, okay. Anchorage, right. There was... Um, uh, in Anchorage, wasn't there a, an earthquake uh, not too long ago? I heard about it, and then I didn't hear anything afterwards. Not that I was, like, totally on top of these kind of things, but I was like... We didn't hear anything. It was a big, a big one, and it was relatively close. There we go. So now I am actually this shift C is absolutely spectacular for this mod. It just it just it's just brilliant. Okay, and in the meantime, I'm just producing stuff here. Yeah, south. Of Mine is the name of my town, so okay. <clears throat> okay, so this is... Let's have a look at the next tier of stuff to build. I actually need to start building... Oh, I can't do that until I have... Or one, two. Uh, hold on, I need to do that one as research. And then let's clear out all of this... So we can get our research and then again, let's take one algae farm because that's, I think that's all I need at this point. I think it's a really, really clever way that it's constrained. So I can't accidentally make some things that I shouldn't make and thereby sort of get myself into a corner. Like I can do a one hydro plant so I can, should do one hydro plant. I could do clarifiers so I should probably do clarifiers and the rest here I can't do that so at this point I guess we might as well just say let's get a hydro plant and at least one clarifier I know exactly what I need it for and um, I'm also kind of in the in the business of getting some more see the slag here is actually oops it's really okay so these ones are being filled up and then I can again. <clears throat> so what I need or what I could do is make sand. Basically get more of these and now I have two more. So I'll just craft them here I guess. Copy, paste, paste. Do I have... Yeah, I don't have enough. Don't have enough fuel. Whoa, that was a lot of fuel that was stored here. There. And C. Go slag in. Again. Form it up. Get it back in there. And then let's pick up everything. And then shove it in again. So that that's the next progression. And again, this one. Pick up. And progression again. And I can't do any any inserters yet, so I'm gonna have to suffice with that. These two, make more of them, and make more. Okay, so let's have a look at what 
this can bring us. This is an algae farm. It's part of Angel's bioprocessing. <clears throat> and this one can make saline water. It gets... Oh, it needs saline water in. So the next part is, how do we get the saline water? We get that from another giant factory here. And I can't bring it along this edge because then I can keep using the same water deposit here. Wow, that could reach very far. Nice. So you're going to take a water purification. Got it. There. So this is being purified. And then I have the purified water that I, at this moment I can't really use. So I'm going to put it here. And now you can start seeing why I'm using squeak through because that is kind of crazy. Now the problem becomes something else. Okay, I'm going to take that one, that one, and there's more. And let's see. See? Crushed. Oh, I don't have any. There we go. More. Shove it in. That one. Shove it into these. Pick these up. Shove it into the next. And then we slowly build. Actually, at this point, building this up is... It's not that important, to be perfectly honest. <clears throat> and I guess those kids, they are just not listening to me. Because now they are just... I said... I actually said to them, you can... It's okay if you uh, stay up and you can... You can read and you can then... But then remember to go to bed and go some sleep. And now they're just make a hell of a lot of noise so they're not exactly fulfilling their end of the bargain but on the other hand i guess everyone with kids knows that you can't really make deals with five-year-old five-year-olds they are they're not the most reliable ah that was close almost had room for it but no i need more landfill so that one can go there boom and now I need more landfill out here. And I do have a bit of landfill, so can probably do this. Ah, perfect fit. Awesome. That one is not filled up. So here. All right. I'm just going to go there again and tell them to uh, be quiet. So, uh, yeah, but maybe you don't hear them, but I, I want them to go to bed because we have to get up at 6 tomorrow morning. And they're not going to be happy when, <laughs> when they... Uh, when they're going to wake up if they don't go to bed now. So, one second. Okay, <sighs> we're back. That was a. Uh, they always think that we can. Uh, <laughs> ah, they always think that they can argue or they can, uh, they can make deals. Like, all right, well then I will also. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. It's not about you give me this and I'll go to bed quietly. Like, no, no, no. This is not how. Uh, Parenting works, at least not around here. All right, so let's continue. Get stuff. Get s no, no stuff. Got one from here. Okay, and what if I put C, and then the rest goes into landfill? Because at this point, I have to keep the landfill going because you can see already, I am being constrained. Doesn't he need to auto craft everything right now because he doesn't have assemblers? Yes, yes, that's correct. I do have to uh, handcraft everything, but I don't have the science for it because you can see even inserters are locked behind science. I can't even make a gear wheel. That's how uh, pathetic things are. Yeah, uh, speaking of negotiation with terrorists, there's a really good book that I can recommend. Never Split the Difference. A very good book. It's uh, written by uh, one of FBI top hostage negotiators. And the idea is that you can't get half of 
a hostage and then give half of the million dollars to the hostage. You must get all of it. Oops, and there we go. We are back to shooting our own buildings. So that's a really good one and it probably also relevant for racing kids that you can't uh, negotiate with them, at least not at that age. All right, so we have a bit of landfill. Should I just, I'll just start more landfill here. And there. And I just pick up everything from everywhere and then shove it in again. And let's start building maybe just another row for for this let's see is this enough nope it needs to go one further up there and then we drag it down until we don't have any more unfortunately the worst part of this is how much space they take so I have to convert into using coal as fuel because coal as a fuel is much more efficient than it was in the old version so that's definitely doable oh always be handcrafting uh, let's see my nephew is six and try to tire him out when he visits <laughs> yeah uh, that's tiring out a six-year-old is kind of futile because usually it's not them who runs out of energy first, it's the parents. So, um, <laughs> good luck with that. There we go. And do I have anything left? Yes, I do have something left and that goes into here. Okay, so what we have done now is we have, <clears throat> we have made a lot of brown algae. So the brown algae, let's have a look at what we could use the brown algae for. The brown algae can be converted into alginic acid. This unfortunately also has to be a manual process. The alginic acid goes combined with cellulose pulp into Yeah, I don't have anything. Into cellulose pulp. Cellulose pulp goes into paper. Paper goes into wooden boards and wooden boards goes into basic circuit board which is our next research so this kind of guides us through the operation of what we need to do let's see um, next up ah. and question would you recommend learning Bob's on land first this looks like a very complex scenario to me but I haven't played I would uh, I would recommend playing angels and Bob's mods uh, before diving in you can play angels and bobs if you like but i would not recommend joining or starting c block as the very first thing i mean it's not impossible or anything but it's it can be quite daunting yeah i'm sorry i i did um do that hey welcome uh put them on a hamster wheel to generate power view yes great <laughs> what did it do to you? Yeah, well, it, it was it was not producing fast enough, so I had to teach it a lesson. And now everyone else knows what's coming if they don't produce fast enough. Ah, we are just keep having to go around here for, it, for that one. Okay, and then we again go around picking everything up, shoving it back in. And the remaining goes into landfill. there how's our supply yeah okay we can still keep up with this and i have about five left so that's not a whole lot and we are actually in the process of making 14 that's not a lot that's not even yeah not even enough and again pick up stuff pick up stuff pick up stuff and pick up stuff going back in and this alginic acid is of the next process that we can then use cellulose pulp to get that but let's make all 20 of them oh this one is full so might as well just pick it up i want to keep this running all the time if at all possible got it 
Maybe I'm going to be rude, but where are you from? Seems like that is perfectly fine. That's not a rude question. I'm from Denmark. So hence my strange accent. As much as I'd like, I just can't seem to get rid of it. And I still have a bit left. So basically when I do these kind of cycles and I have just a bit of uh, of crushed stone left, then I convert it into sand. Used to build sand. And at this point, oh, one more th one thing that as this stabilizes now, then there will be a lot of waiting time. And since we are on the clock here, then I am going to do... I am going to do this one. Oh, right. Yeah, game speed equal two. So I'm now going to upgrade the speed to two. I don't have a problem with this. I hope you don't have a problem with this. This is not... This is only going to make make us get cover more ground in the time we have available instead of me just clicking around like all the time and not really getting anywhere so this way we're going to get much more produced in the time we have available and we can then progress but that one okay so i just need four more of these and then i can start handcrafting the next tier what about these yeah oh that's not a lot but I will craft it. I can understand you're pretty good, but I am from Germany. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Kyoto. I have spent time in international schools and lived in US and lived in UK as well. So there is that. But it was also kind of uh, after my MBA, which obviously was in English, then I thought, well, you know, you kind of have to keep it, keep speaking regularly and just in a casual tone because it's something else than just business speak. Hence, I thought, hey, why don't I just uh, talk to myself while playing computer games? So I did. And then I turned on the camera and here we are. And that's the kind of the the essence of this hobby of mine. You can a uh, uh, grown-up man sitting at home playing computer games, and talking to himself. Uh, that's kind of weird. But flip on a camera and then or start recording and upload it, and then it's suddenly very fashionable, very young hobby of being a YouTuber. I mean, I have seriously. Uh, kids from my daughter's school they're like do you have a youtube channel i hear you have a youtube channel it's like yes i do that in and of itself is not exactly a major achievement just having a youtube channel okay so i think i just wasted some material here didn't i no not really that's good you're gonna take more out here these two start by crafting this and then See what else we can do. <clears throat> Still weird. Thank you. <laughs> uh, all those moments at 2 HP look dangerous to run to. Yes, like shredded here. Um, this is. The, you could call this the Shred Nation. You could. It is like a ton of shredders, so. That would not be uh, incorrect. Okay, let's actually start working on the pulp thing. Uh, let's get some more sand. Sand is a bit more important at this point than getting... Okay. Do I have some spare anywhere? No, I'm kind of running out everywhere. <clears throat> Don't forget to handcraft. Exactly. But now we're going to handcraft something else. I'm going to handcraft wooden boards directly. A few of those, yeah? So, that's a ton of handcrafting to do. In the meantime, we can spend some of our materials here because I'm going to need to build, once we get to this research... Oh, this research doesn't even give me automation. That is only when I get the naps up and running. All right, there's still a lot of ground to cover. Let's keep going.
Because at some point, suddenly I'll run out of stuff. Okay. Oh, look. Um, Nightbot is vigilant. I think, but is YouTube profitable for you with... Uh, um, Penas, that's profitable. Yes, of course it is. Uh, of course it's profitable because it, it generates a net income. But it's not profitable in the sense that I'm going to quit my day job for it. But it's nice that I bought my latest computer for the... Let's call it winnings from YouTube. But I would hate to have to be reliant on YouTube as my source of income because it's it's just so fickle. That's the main problem of it. Oh, I thought oh yeah, I have nine left, so let's just build enough to put nine in. So, oops, for the people who are relying on YouTube, then ah, you, first of all, you got to be a hell of a lot bigger than these pennies but I think it's nice that I can have a hobby that can pretty much pay for itself and that means also sort of moving forward I'm going to buy a, like a green screen and a, a proper camera and then I can sort of say yep it's okay for me to build to buy these kind of things because I can just save up some month from YouTube and then I can buy that that stuff so I think that's fine I think it's a it's a really it's a really comfortable way for me to, to sort of allow myself to buy stuff that I really don't need. Because it's hard to justify why do I need a green screen and a professional camera and some professional lighting. It's like, But it's, it's, yeah, I don't need it, but it's nice to have nonetheless, right? Uh, Shredder is busy fighting turtles. Oh, sounds good. Uh, we're stationed here right now. Okay. But then you're a grown man watching my live stream. I mean, that's probably weird too. Yeah, maybe it is. Um, to the question of whether I'm on whether I'm on Twitch, I have been streaming on Twitch, but at this point, I prefer or I want to give it a shot streaming on YouTube because YouTube is basically my primary platform. That's the one part. The other part of it is the fact that. Do I go go down that path of ranting about Twitch once again? I don't like the fact that Twitch is... It's basically almost a... a it's a pseudo-pornographic platform. And I don't really... It used to be gamers, but now it's just titty streamers. And it I don't like that. It, it's, it's, it's just wrong. And I don't want to be in the same crowd. It's... I like the idea of Twitch and I like how it used to be, but I think they have like really messed up morals when when their favorite streamers can do all sorts of crap on stream and not get penalized and then so nobody does like nothing and they get perma banned for it. And I don't like that that way of operating. We are in serious need of more, uh, more, what are they called? Wood pellets, yeah? See, we don't really have any spare anywhere. Okay, that's a bit of spare, that's a bit of spare. Let's pick stuff up again. Go back in, get more. And we are... Okay, so this one's almost there. Twitch IRL is worse. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine how bad that would be. And uh, but this mod is Victoria in Victoria. <laughs> it's my mind. Yeah, it, it's fun. Nightbot is on a killing streak. Yeah, I, I guess Nightbot is a bit uh, overzealous. I can just try and see if I can figure out how spam protection. All right, let's see. And uh, what is it? Excess symbols is enabled. Excess cap is enabled. Blacklist words and phrases are enabled. Uh, links? I don't want links. Excess symbols. Okay, we'll uh, try excess mode. We'll, we'll try being a more lax on our... on. There we go. So, the only thing I don't want is links. Because I can't really control that. 
So now um is it ever intimidating to have a long case subscriber? <laughs> did you expect to go? No, I did not expect that. It's every time I hit a milestone, it's just amazing. And I'm like, wow, I've kind of told myself that I wanted to, or you can say go public um, on when I hit 10,000, but I'm still kind of cautious about it because, and by that, I mean, basically put it on my LinkedIn profile so my coworkers can see it because sometimes I'm, Oh, and that there we go. We have the next research enabled. We got the basic circuit boards. And that means we can now start making inserters and we could do green algae. That's going to be exciting. And this is where we need to scale up our space quite rapidly. Carbon dioxide, all sorts of cool things. And then we can start really moving further. That one. That will give us cellulose fiber to from raw wood. Strange. But it also gives us wood bricks and then enable the construction of a lab. Very nice. So at this point, I will stop this one and start working towards the first green algae. It's a very cool way of, of guiding us the right way. All right, so um, <clears throat> uh, let's uh, Patreon, any good for you and compared to YouTube? I think uh, Patreon, the, the great thing about Patreon is Patreon is that it's, I don't know, it's reliable, but it's all also more committed because basically the income from YouTube is extremely anonymized because you're basically just getting, saying, yeah, people have watched ads on your channel. That's not very personal. So by having, uh, by having Patreon, this also gives me an opportunity as a content provider to highlight and give something back to the people who really put, uh, to commit something and, and do something for the community and like being in the, the discord and doing some stuff and did the tribute in the belts and blocks parts and I want to do some some more stuff so if you have good ideas then I think that's a that's also very welcome so and you know what I'm, I'm on a row here so let's just craft more of it there insert us let's see if we can get to this one to work. Actually, I think I can do it differently. Maybe if I did that, and that, and that, because this is going to be fast. Now the next part, this one, is getting... Ah, uh, there's some problem here, but I guess... That should work, right? Yes. And I'll get these two. Good. And that one. So now the only problem is that I somehow need to get these out. <clears throat> How do I get those out without... Because they need to be put into uh, another location. I'm going to take these out. Okay, I think... All right, that doesn't work yet because that requires yeah. something else. So how do I do this? Uh, I guess I can make some iron chests instead. And then basically put everything into iron chests and then take it from there. Uh, we'll try that. And this part I love about point sixteen. Bloop, pick it up. So I guess I'll take one, two, into iron chests, one, two, and then from here, one, two, into these. Boom. Because then it'll only take the stuff that makes sense. And again, handcrafting. If in doubt, start handcrafting. Who convinced you to get such a sadistic tech tree modded in? Well, it is, um, it's, part of the mod pack so there is that and so the question about red tube uh, very little because the red tube is not really existing in in Europe uh, so yes of course it exists but it it doesn't really make a difference to be honest it is very little 
And again, we need to remove all of this. So we can get our... And then enable it again afterwards. That's a bit too much of this. Enable, disable, or add, remove, add, remove. I'm also kind of running out of things. Okay, that one is broken. There we go. So this should be more stable. Whoa. Why did that one ground grind to halt? Is it because nothing is consuming? Really? Okay, now it spins up again. Okay, that was just because I've been too slow to build stuff. So this one is better because then I can also take these and make stuff out of it. Landfill. Okay, you can fill the chest by putting one crush stone in every slot so the inserter can only... You can filter chests by putting one cross to... Oh, right. That's a really clever idea, actually. Except then when I pick it up, then... Oh, can you filter? No. I thought there was something like you could filter chests, but there's no such thing as filtering here. That's tough, because that would be nice. It's a feature. I don't really know why it doesn't exist. And let's see. The next part we want to do is actually... I could take... Another lane out here that's kind of prepared for it already. Like here. Oops, I disabled it. Um, pick stuff up. Oh yeah, these ones no longer need to be picked up. And they just need to be fed sometimes. Oops, not like that. And which one needs to be unloaded? Nope, they don't need to be unloaded. Don't need... So it's basically just putting stuff into this one, and that's not even... So I just need to put into these, and then it automatically fills out here. Then once in a while I can go pick up this. Yeah, and then it sometimes put it back. Alright, let's start making some transport belts. And some inserters, I have a lot of those. Let's get the transport belt into the usual spot. Oh, and also... Let's get these two again. It's something this one had three one two there so at least that's getting started shove it in great and for some reason it also puts it in there and you are going to take it here do we have enough yes and all the way down there Two. One, two. One, two, three, four. And this is where you realize that it was not a coincidence. I, I placed it out there. So, look at this. Stuff is going on. Except it's not fast enough. But it's, it's something. And always be handcrafting. Well, did you start early or is it CET, not GMT? It's not GMT. I'm starting at CET. I've uh, been going for about 30 minutes at least. Well, no, I've been going for 52 minutes. I think this is actually quite a lot of progress that we've done in 52 minutes. If we think about this uh, being quite grueling mod, mod pack. Come on, pick up faster. Ah, we also forget to pick up our production. And so this here. And shove it in. Hmm. I keep just getting... How is it placing it? That one versus 132 there. That was strange. Put it in. And these two. These as well. Go. Okay, so let's start on the next part of this puzzle. This is running out fast. Next part of the puzzle, I guess I'll build it up here. But it's going to use such a massive amount of... But I don't have it, so how am I going to do it? Because all of this goes in here. But, okay, let's actually do some kind of analysis here. So 10 crushed stone becomes 100 mineralized water. 200 mineralized water, so that's 20 crushed stone becomes... 
1.8 of these. 1.8 is, okay, so basically I put 20 in and I get one crushed stone out. So that's not a good deal. It's not even close to a good deal. Uh, started at good time. I was just about to watch his science module video and it's out of streaming. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a bit of a shame sometimes when I feel and this is also the kind of the, the part about um, YouTube streaming that I'm not so keen on is the fact that I feel that you guys are here, but that your view time is competing against my YouTube content. So it's like, well, what do I want the most? Want you to watch the stream or watch the YouTube content? Because I can see tomorrow that I'll have a lot less views on the video today because basically it's the same viewers who watch the stream as watch. Um, oh, that was it. That was not a lot. <clears throat> as watch this. So let me build one, two. And one, two, three. And let's build a few more of these. Good. So we are starting to build out here some location. Oh, there's some desert gardens. Great. These guys and pick up this. Boom. Pick up these and these two. And what do we have? 28 more. I assume GMT who is Swedish. Uh, he's not Swedish. Um, he's not very Swedish, no. <laughs> but close, yes. <laughs> uh, yes, the stream is monetized, but I don't know what that means because you're not seeing uh, seeing any ads before the stream anyway. So, so much for monetizing. I, I mean, monetize means that I could just press a button and show you uh, an ad, but I don't like that. I don't like that. That's uh, that's just my. It, my sort of the way I want to commercialize it is very much a volunteer basis. So YouTube, that means ad revenue. That's nice. Um, but aside from this, if someone wants to and to contribute, and then a Patreon is exactly there for that purpose. And I'm very grateful for anyone who wants to process to wants to uh, contribute or participate in the channel. But it's by no means necessary. Because this is not a this is not a money making scam. I mean, trust me. At times at work, I lean back and look at my uh, YouTube ad, uh, YouTube uh, app, and then I'm like, ah, I wish I could live off of that. No more uh, getting yelled at and just being being in control yourself. But yeah, you know, dreamers. Dream a stream, that's what they do, that's what they do. And let's start the 17, and then everything else, not much. And I'm getting accruing a, oh, hold on. Let's just build that one, and go back and build a few more of these. <clears throat> I don't know if one can support it, but it, if that's the case, then I'll just take two. Do we think so? I don't know, but I'll get another one in a second. There we go. Uh, well, we'll find the time to watch the rest of your content during the night. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> and. Tomorrow you'll get all the food. Well, I'm sorry, but also yesterday when I uploaded the video of just the announcement, then I was like, all right, let's see if it works. And there were like three people sitting there like, oh, just uh, five more minutes. Like, oh, sorry, it's tomorrow. <laughs> I had to uh, make that clear. <laughs> 